Today I'm going to be showing you how to half double crochet. So I am starting with chain 16 and I will be going into the second chain from my hook. There's the first chain and this is the second chain. I'm going to go underneath that loop but before I do that I'm going to yarn over then go underneath the loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over again, and pull it through all three loops. There is one completed half double crochet. Now I'll move on and do another one. Yarn over, go into the, into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. There's a second one. Let's continue. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. I'm going to continue this all the way down and I will show you what to do when we get to the end. So I'm just about to finish this row off and I'm going to go into the last chain and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one. Some people chain two here but I always chain one. I think with just about every one of my patterns it's a chain one for my half doubles. So once you chain one you're going to turn and then you'll see, if you look at it, you're going to see this space right there. You're going to go underneath the space. So there's the V for the stitch. You're going to go under there. You're going to yarn over, go underneath those two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and go through all three. Then you'll do it again to the next one. You can see that spot right there. Oops. And then you'll continue all the way down and I'll show you what the end looks like when we get down there. Okay, I'm at the end and I have one stitch left. You can see the V. You're going to go underneath those two loops. You're going to pull through and chain one and turn. And as you can see, there's your first space that you're going to crochet into. So you're just going to yarn over and go into that and you'll continue and you'll keep on going until you've reached the um, length that you want. And when you are done, you have two choices. Either at the end you can um, chain one, pull through your yarn, actually cut it off, pull it through and then weave that in or you can just cut off the yarn, pull it through and then weave in that end. And you always want to make sure that you weave into the uh, back side of your work or the wrong side of your work unless the directions state it differently.